Hey guys, the objective for this video is to determine the torsion constant and twist relative to the bottom of the shaft. So let's have a look at our question here. So we've got our shaft here, total height of 4 meters. We've got 3 kilonewton meters applied to the top and then 3 kilonewton meters applied um, 3 quarters of the way down. So hopefully just looking at this, you should realize that there's going to be no torsion at the bottom of our shaft here because the sum of the torsion applied to this shaft here is equal to zero because we've got torsion in the anti-clockwise direction and an equal torsion in the clockwise direction. Again, with any torsion problem, you should first draw up a twisting moment diagram. We'll start at the top of the shaft and work our way down to the bottom. So at the top of our shaft, we've got three kilonewton meters acting. That's in the anti-clockwise direction, so that'll be positive. We'll go down all the way down to the point where this three kilonewton meters acts and that'll bring us back to zero. So we've got three kilonewton meters acting for three quarters over three meters and the last one meter we've got zero kilonewton meters. So in this question we've been asked to calculate the torsion constant and to calculate the twist at the top relative to the bottom. So